element of the initial ID.4. The ID.4 electric SUV was unveiled by Volkswagen just last year. It is slightly smaller than the brand's Tiguan SUV in terms of size. However, the ID.4's interior is as spacious as that of the Tiguan and other small SUVs due to the EV's inherent design efficiency. It also has many of the same features, like a raised seating position, a roomy cargo area, and all-wheel drive that is available. There are a couple of changes for the ID.4. First, the ID.4's maximum range with a full charge is slightly increased. The EPA appraises the 2022 model will go 2 to 20 miles farther than keep going year, contingent upon the trim level. Although a 2022 ID.4 has not yet been put through our real-world EV range test, the vehicle's updates should only increase its competitive distance. For instance, a 2021 ID.4 Pro we tested had all-wheel drive and could go 272 miles on a single charge. How is it to live with them? We bought a Volkswagen ID.4 from 2021 and put it through rigorous testing for a year and 20,000 miles in our long-term review fleet. We are taking the brand new electric SUV from Volkswagen around town to find out what we like, what we don't like, and what might be a deal breaker in the vehicle. What drives the ID.4? The ID.4's rear-wheel drive splits the difference between a typical mainstream electric vehicle and a typical compact SUV. In our testing, it took just 7.7 seconds to sprint from 0 to 60 miles per hour, which is quick for an SUV. Solace How agreeable is the ID.4? This electric vehicle is cozy. Particularly noteworthy is how well the climate control system maintains a constant temperature in the cabin even when the eco setting is selected. There are even some great temperature presets to browse in light of how you're feeling. Additionally, it is fairly quiet. When driving, there will be some outside and road noise, but the ID.4 was just as quiet as other top EVs in our sound measurements. Interior, how are things inside? The ID.4's spacious cabin is simple to enter and exit. Additionally, it is simple to exit. In any case, we were frustrated with a portion of the unintuitive controls. Things like the window controls are way too complicated. Instead of having one switch for each window, they have a touch-sensitive button that switches between the front and rear windows. Technology How is technology? The ID.4 is packed with a lot of great technology. Smartphone integration with Android Auto and wireless CarPlay is standard, and there are numerous USB-C ports available. Additionally, a place has been designated for wireless phone charging. In the event that you're not into involving cell phone combination for exploring, the locally available root framework is very great and simple to utilize. Storage How is storage doing? One of the EVs with the most adaptability is this one. Behind the rear seat, there is ample storage for luggage, which is 30.3 cubic feet. 
The 60-40th split rear seats fold flat forward to provide 64.2 cubic feet of space. This is more than a Hyundai Kona Electric, but not nearly as much as the Model Y offers. You can make a slight increase in space by leveling the rear cargo floor if you don't need that flat area. Range and efficiency how do they compare to one another? The EPA estimates that the range of rear drive ID.4S is 260 miles for the Pro trim and 250 miles for the Pro S. The range of dual motor all-wheel drive models is slightly lower. Value is the ID.4 a good deal? According to the EPA, the Pro should get 249 miles and the Pro S should get 240 miles. The ID.4's combination of a roomy size, an affordable price, and useful real-world range are what make it appealing. Although the ID.4 is well equipped for the price, the interior build quality is sporadic and some of the high touchpoint areas are made of hard, cheap feeling plastic. Wildcard the ID.4 has many positive aspects. A few of the appealing features include gesture control, massaging seats, a comprehensive set of advanced driving aids, and rear wheel drive architecture. Sadly, not all things are executed as the need might arise to be, which can be more awful than if they weren't presented in any way. However, the ID.4 has so many other advantages that most of those drawbacks can be overlooked. It has a lot of space, is practical, and has a good driving range, making it very popular. From a fun-to-drive standpoint, rear-drive models are not particularly impressive, but the dual-motor all-wheel-drive model significantly improves things. Additionally, driving the ID.4 on a daily basis is enjoyable. It has a decent amount of real-world range and is one of the class's more spacious vehicles, so it can certainly take you to fun places.